hearts of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. Ladies and gentlemen, the shadow will be with you in a moment. But first, have you heard the big news about the non-skid tire sensation that protects you against the danger of skidding as never before? This new Goodrich, Silvertown, was turned over to the nation's largest independent testing laboratory, the Pittsburgh Testing Laboratory. Test this new kind of tire against the regular and premium priced tires of America's six largest tire manufacturers were the order. And here's what the impartial engineers found. The new Goodrich, Silvertown, gave greater skid resistance than any other tire tested, even those priced at from 40% to 70% more. Furthermore, this new Silvertown averaged 19.1% more non-skid mileage than the other tires tested in its own price range, which means you get every sixth mile free. And remember, the Goodrich, Silvertown, offers you both Lifesaver Tread skid protection and Golden Ply blowout protection at no extra cost. The shadow, Lamont Cranston, a man of wealth, a student of science, and a master of other people's minds, devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Using advanced methods that may ultimately become available to all law enforcement agencies, Cranston is known to the underworld as the shadow. Never seen only heard, as haunting to superstitious minds as a ghost, as inevitable as a guilty conscience. The shadow's true identity is known only to his constant friend and aide, Margot Lane. Today's story, The Message from the Hill. Hand me that map, Jake. Yeah, okay, boss. Spread it out on the table, Jordan. Okay. Now, let's check the whole thing once more. All right. Now, here's the blooming desert island we're camped on right now. Yeah? It ain't so much bigger than that dot at that. Oh, shut up, Jake. And here's Swanio Island. Right, oh. There's Mount Raleigh and that blessed diamond rind right smack in the middle. See, Jake? Three weeks in the coast and government house by trail. Isolated, you might say. All right, Limey. Is our plane in good shape? Top hole. You sure you can find that mountain? Well, I've thrown up there often enough. Limey, we don't want to get tangled up with the mining company's plane. We won't. The plane goes up from the coast on Friday, comes back on Saturday. We pays our little visit to the diamond mine in between. You're sure they ship the diamonds out every three months? Listen, Jordan, I worked for those fat-headed birds for over a year. I know. Well, looks foolproof to me. And there's enough diamonds in one of them shipments to keep us all like aristocrats. Are uh, the rest of the native boys in good shape, Jake? Yeah, boss. The cream of the South Seas. They can fight? They may have to. I blasted Major White said, hey, what's the chief? He's a tough old bird, he is. Oh, uh, we'll take care of him. I uh, wonder what he'll say when he sees me again. Well, why worry? He won't talk long. What do you mean, boss? I mean that when we get through and ready to leave, we'll wipe out every one of the white men. That's the ticker, Jordan. Don't leave no witnesses. They'll all be corpses. <laughs> Thomas Lane at the Mount Rawley Diamond Mine. Nice standing, Rick, here. Oh, thanks awfully, Mr. Cranston. Oh, here comes a nice-looking boy to greet us. It's Ned Fenton, the assistant superintendent of the Diamond Mine. Hi, Ned. Visitors for you. Well, this is jolly. Miss Lane, may I present Ned Fenton? How do you do? How do you do? And Mr. Lamont Cranston, Mr. Fenton. How do you do? Very glad to be here. It's lovely here on your mountain top. Glad you like it. Let me help you down, Miss Lane. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. There you are. I suppose this is one of the few really secluded places left on the Earth's surface. Well, I imagine it is. By the way, Ned, where are the others? Oh, well, Major Whiteside's off in the hills with the three junior engineers. See them all at mess tonight. Leave the mail sack there, Ricky. T Tango will haul it in. By the way, how is Tango? Still down in the mouth? Oh, frightful. Poor old chap. 
Oh, it's Tenga. And what's the matter with him? Oh, Tenga's our houseman, butler, cook, and so on. He, he's mourning for his son who lives on a small island about a thousand miles from here. Oh, poor fellow. When did he hear? Well, a month ago. Same night he thinks the boy died. But I thought you had no wireless station here. No, we haven't. Then... Uh, Tenga's wife told him by telepathy. Told him? You mean he believes his son dead because of a mental message sent by telepathy? Yes, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come now, Mr. Cranston. You don't believe such rot. Well, frankly, I don't think it is all rot. I believe when two minds are in tune, sometimes they can communicate. Across a thousand miles of ocean. On the ends of the earth. Oh, after don't all, I... Don't laugh too loudly, Mr. Fenton. Your disbelief might get a rude shock if you stay in the Orient long. You can never tell what strange things may happen today, tonight. Tenga! Tenga! Oh, confound the fellow. No good lately. You heard about his mourning for his son. Yes, to be sure. You know, I've told Tenga there can't be any truth to his notion, but that doesn't alter his belief. Excuse me, sir. Here comes the old man now. Yes, Master Whiteside. You call? We'll have our coffee now, Tenga. Yes, master. I bring it. A fine old type. A chieftain, I imagine, his own island. Well, I can't say, Mr. Cranston. Tenga's a good houseman. That's all I know about him. Major, Ricky tells us that on his flight next week, he takes out your quarterly shipment of diamonds. Yes. I'm sending off a sizable packet of the stones. They accumulate in three months. Mm. Isn't it risky letting them accumulate? I should think crooks might be tempted to line weights and pound. <laughs> oh, nonsense, Cranston. Takes three months to reach us by a trail. Didn't they take a hint from you and use a plane? Can't see how. There's no plane but ours the whole island. None nearer than Australia, I should fancy. Well, Major. Now, if you'll forgive me, I'll take a squint at my mail from the office. No, of course. You other boys must want to read yours, too. Oh, thanks awfully, Miss Lane. There, there is one from home I'm aching. Today. Well, by Joe. Oh, anything wrong, Major? No, no, nothing wrong. Just use it odd, that's all. I bring coffee now, Master Whiteside. Oh, yes. Uh, <coughs> Tinga. Yes, Master. I have a letter from the office message for you in it. The fact of the matter is, your wild guess was right. Your son did die a month ago. Oh, no. Yes, Master, I know. Tinga's wife tell him boy dead. Oh, I say, Tinga, we're awfully sorry. Thank you, Master Ned. Well, I, uh, well, that'll be all, Tinga. We'll help ourselves. You may go. Yes, Master. Tinga, go. Oh, fancy that now. I you said that in the East, the unbelievable always happens. Now, will you excuse me? I think I must speak to Tenga, sir. Well, whatever for? I'd like to give the old man a few words of consolation. Oh, I say, that won't do. We never have personal dealings with the natives, Cranston. Bad for discipline, you know. I'm afraid I must ask you to refrain. Why, naturally, Major, if you wish. Margot, supposing you and I go out and look at the moon. Why, of course, Lamont. Lovely tonight. I'll open the screen door for you. Well, what do you think of the Major, Lamont? fine example of a ruler in the empire on which the sun just doesn't set. It's not very nice of him forbidding you to speak to Tenga. Oh, I don't mind. At least he can't forbid the shadow doing so. You mean you'll go to Tenga as the shadow? Yes, Margot. Yes. But Lamont, you'll scare the poor old man silly. Lamont, where are you? Speak to me. It's all right, Margot. I'm on my way to talk to Tenga as the shadow. <laughs> Why should Tenga fear? Many fear the shadow because they cannot see him. The shadow is strange magic. Tenga not understand. But an old man whose son has gone down in the land of dead fears nothing anymore. The shadow weeps for you. The tears of friend are balm to the heart. Is not your sorrow greater tonight because the letter has come making your son's death certain? No. Tenga need not white man's foolish letter. The white major does not understand how you could communicate with your wife across the waters. White men do not know wisdom and magic. Some white men know. That may be. I do not know. You do not question the shadow. You do not ask where I come from. No. The young and foolish question... The old take what comes. Soon I shall be gone. Far away, toward the sea. But Tenga, though I am far off, I will still be your friend. 
Then our souls will speak to each other again when we are troubled. Yes, for when two spirits are in tune, the waters of the earth and the many miles of forest do not part them. They can still meet and speak. Roger back down and paid for every one of the cows. Oh, how interesting, Governor. Yes, must tell that yarn to Cranston. Yes, indeed. Why, why that's funny. I, I thought he was dancing with Lady Brainford. No, I saw so him going to the garden a moment ago. Your friend's a very restless chap, isn't he? Well, not ordinarily, Governor, but I, I must confess that he certainly has been jumpy this evening. Perhaps the flight back from the hills upset him. Oh, I don't think so, Governor. Well, I- if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go and try to find him. My certainly, Miss Lee. Lamont! Lamont Cranston! Oh, yes? What is it? It's I, Margot Lane. Oh, you Margot. Yes, what are you doing down here on the beach by yourself? Margot, shh. Listen. Listen? I can't hear anything. Nothing at all. But just the waves lapping on the shore. There's nothing else to hear. But there is, Margot. You've just interrupted a very interesting conversation. Interrupted? But Lamont, there's no one here for you to talk to. Who was it? Tenga. Tenga? You mean that old native up at the mine? Yes, Margot. But, but it doesn't seem possible. He's a hundred miles away. In the Orient, Margot, many strange things happen. All evening I've been restless. I had the feeling someone was trying to speak to me. I came out here to put myself in a receptive mood. Well, what did Tenga say, Lamont? Your coming disturbed me and the contact was broken. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. But just as you called out, Tenga spoke of danger. Mm. Yes, something to do with the Mount Raleigh diamond mine. Establish contact with him quickly. Sit down here beside me. Yes, Lamont. Now clear your mind, Margot. Think of Tenga. Think of the hills about the mining camp. Listen. Shadow. Ah. There. Can you hear him now? Yes. Yes, I think so. Master Shadow. Master Shadow. Tenga calls you, Master. I can hear you, Tenga. I, I can hear too. Tenga, speak. Tell Shadow. There is danger? Yes, Shadow. White men come to mine. Make war. White men? Strangers? Yes, Shadow. Bad white men. Come rob. Come kill. Where did the strangers come from? Bad white man come in big sky bird. An airplane? Yes. They come with gun. Money gun. They want rob stones from mine. Yes, Tenga? Master white stone fix sky bird. Fix the plane? How, Tenga? Fix so no cannot fly. Bad white man shoot master for this. Kill him. How horrible. Tenga, how many bad white men are there? Many as fingers on one hand and three more. Eight. They say kill master Ned. Kill Tenga. Kill everyone. Native boys fear. Run to hills. Bad man lock masters in house. Tenga call. Shadow. Bring help. Yes, Tenga, yes. The shadow will bring help. Hi, master. Shadow. Come quick. Hurry. Hurry. He's gone. Come, Margo, quickly. What can you do? Those bandits are stuck up in the mountains. Major Whiteside wrecked their plane. They can't escape. But they killed Whiteside. We must hurry before they kill all the others. Ladies and gentlemen, there's danger ahead for the shadow, 
and he's ready for the consequences. But who knows what danger lurks in your path as you roll along over a wet, glistening highway? The shadow knows today's high speed, slippery oil filmed roads, and quick acting brakes all spell SKID. Is a treacherous car spinning skid just around the corner for you? Or are you going to play safe? To fight this dangerous hazard that killed and injured thousands of motorists last year, to protect you in the hazard zone of motoring, where a slippery film of water may make complete command of your car almost impossible, Goodrich has developed the new Safety Silvertown with the special skid protection of the Lifesaver Tread. This new development in Tread actually dries wet roads. Its never-ending spiral bars act like a battery of windshield wipers. Sweep the water right and left. Force it out through deep grooves. Make a dry track for the rubber to grip. And remember, motorists, you needn't take anybody's word for how fast this tire will stop you. One free demonstration ride will prove to you that the new Silvertown will stop you quicker, safer than you've ever stopped before, no matter how wet the going is. Many of your friends right here in town have already discovered what it means to be saved by a Silvertown stop. They'll all tell you that silver towns below mean greater safety above. Don't take chances. Protect your family, your car, and your friends. Ride on the new Goodrich Safety Silvertown Tires. Governor, Governor, you've got to listen to me. I tell you, I know. Ridiculous, Mr. Cranston. But Governor, your friends, those men in the hills, they may be killed. My dear Miss Lane, it's impossible for you to know anything about what's going on up there. Impossible. I told you, Governor, Tenga spoke to us. Please, Mr. Cranston, you can't ask me to believe that. Yes, it's true. I heard Tenga too, Governor. Pure imagination, my dear. Give me a plane and some armed men, then we'll find out if it's imagination. The plane, Mr. Cranston, is for official business only. Not for any silly joyride. But it isn't silly. Tenga called us through mental telepathy, the oldest wireless in the world. Now, Cranston, I think I've listened to this cock and bull story long enough. I'll get back to my guest. Just lend me the plane for No, me. I won't lend it to you. And I'll put a guard around it in case you have any crazy schemes about grabbing it. But, Governor, these bandits... The bandits, my dear, are creatures of Mr. Cranston's imagination. Nothing more. Please excuse me. I must give my orders to the guard. You may regret this, Governor. I doubt it, Mr. Cranston. If you ask me, you'd better consult the doctor. Touch of a sun, no doubt. Oh, Lamont, what can we do? Do, Margot, we're going up to that mine. But how? We're flying, taking the plane. But you heard the governor. He's putting guards around the plane. Guards, Margot, have never yet managed to stop the shadow. Say, Corporal. What is it? Sitting in this hangar guarding the plane. Ain't it kind of silly? It ain't for you to question the governor's orders. No, sir. But... Well, who's going to meddle with the plane? Never mind that. Orders is orders. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, someone's opening the small door. Who's there? I don't see anyone. Hmm. It ain't no one, I guess. Well, maybe the wind blew the door open and shut. Wind, there's no sign of a breeze. Oh, Maybe whoever it was saw us and stayed outside. Just keep your eyes on that plane. Yes, sir. Hey, Corporal, look at the hangar door. I mean, it's sliding back. Yeah, nobody's near it. Who's there? Answer, I said I'll shoot. I'm afraid you can't hit anything, soldier. Who, who, who's Corporal? It's, it's, it's spooks. Yes, my friend, something like that. I'm getting out of here. Blimey, this, this ain't regulations, you know. Leave, leave before it's too late. Yes, sir, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Why? Why Come on, Margot. Coast is clear. Hurry. Oh, those poor soldiers. They're still running. Get in, Margot, before they come back. Yes, I'm with you. I'll run her right through the open door and take off. All right. Shut the door. Yes. Thank heaven this plane's got an automatic starter. Hurry. Grab your belt. Here we go.
Oh, I hope we're in time, Shadow. And here come some men now. They heard the plane landing. They're strangers and they have guns. No doubt they're the robbers. The plane's a surprise to them. Yes. And there'll be another surprise later. They'll be hardly expecting the Shadow. No. Now remember, Margot, you're alone. No one on the coast suspects what's happening here. I'll remember. Be careful, Shadow. Here they come. Don't move! Don't move! Hey, 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 come on, I'll drag that pilot out of here, Jake. What's the matter? Hey, boss! It's a woman. Well, what is this? What's the matter? I, I don't know you. Yeah, let me in there. Why, a girl. Alone. Yeah, look. Hey, what are you doing here, sister? Well, please, put down that gun. Answer my question. Well, I, I borrowed the plane and flew up to see a friend, Ned Fenton. Well, your friend ain't receiving, sister. But thanks very much for the plane. Bring her out, Jake. Sure. Come on, babe, and keep those pretty paws up. Very well. There she is. Now, come on, miss. Jump down here. <laughs> This is a hold-up, isn't it? You catch on quick. Fly me. Can you fly this crate? Sure, easy. But I uh, I used up all the gas. There's gas over in that shack, Limey. Fill her up. We'll bump off the rest of these mining guys and get out of here. I'll get the gas right away. All right, Jake. Bring the dame. I want to talk to her. Okay, boss. Come on, you. I'm coming. Let go of my arm. Come on. Get out of here. says to get him a couple of drinks. And fast, you hear me? Tango here. Scram. Pep it up. Mm, pigs. Tango. Tango. Who calls? The shadow? Yes, Tango. I am here. Shadow come to save Master Ned and White Master. Yes, Tango. The shadow promised when he spoke across the mountain. Is here to help. Yes, Shadow. Tell me, where have the bandits put Master Ned and our other friends? They locked in room main bungalow. Chief of robbers in room outside with gun. Take him the drinks he orders, Tenga. The Shadow will follow you into the room. Yes, Shadow. Drinks ready. Shadow, come. Yes, Tenga. But do not speak to me with others near. No. Tenga knows. Shadow, stay hidden. Lead the way, Tenga. They are in here, Shadow. Hey, Tenga. What are you whispering about out there? Nothing, Master. Who are you talking to? No one, Master. See, no one here. Yeah? Well, come on in here with that bottle. Don't grab the poor old man like that. You keep quiet, sister. Hey, boss. The old guy must have money in the bank. He was talking to himself. Tenga, go now. Okay, beat it. And don't hang around outside. If we catch you trying to help those English guys, I'll slit your throat. Tenga, go. How long do you expect to keep me here? Just as long as we want, sister. Maybe we'll take you along when we leave as hostage. I'd rather stay here. There won't be nothing left here, lady, but stiffs. Hey, look, sister. You see that little package on the table? Yes. Well, that's got enough diamonds in it to make us all rich. Sure. Hey, well, what is it, Lammy? I got bad news. Did you fill up the plane with gas? That's just it. While I went for the gas, somebody monkeyed with the works. All three motors. Hey, what goes in? Hey, you, sister. Are you trying to pull a fast one on me? Don't be ridiculous. I haven't been near those motors since I landed. That's right, boss. We've got to fix them motors. I don't know. But we've got to find those missing parts if we're going to get out of here. Well, how about taking parts from our plane? There's nothing left to take. Old Major Whiteside went to work on our motors with an axe. Hey, wait a minute. I'll bet one of them guys in the next room got out and did it. Oh, how could they? With two guards outside the window? Jake, you go with Limey and try to find that stuff. And leave the machine gun on the table. Okay, boss. Come on, Jake. Yeah, I'm right with you. Now, listen to me, sister. Yes? Was there someone hiding here beside you in the plane? Someone hiding? I was not hiding, Jordan, but you could not see me. Who said that? I am the shadow. Shadow? Well, where are you, anyway? <laughs> here, Jordan. Here in the shadows. But you cannot see me. 
Your plan to steal the diamonds has failed. The devil it has. Look. Look on the table. The diamonds. They're gone. I've taken them, Jordan, just as I took the parts from the motors in the plane. You cannot escape. Shadow, my friends are locked in this room. Get away from that door, doll, before I throttle you. No, my friend. Let the girl go. Oh, uh, oh. oh Shadow, you... I knocked him out, Margot. Oh. I must leave things in your hands. I cannot reveal my presence here as the shadow to our friends. But I will be here watching in the shadows. Now, unlock the door and let our friends out. The key is in the lock. Yes. Hurry, men. Come on out. How in the world? Never mind that. Hurry. Take the machine gun yes. over there. You must arm yourself. Oh, there's plenty of guns in the closet there. Right Jordan, off. the leader's lying there unconscious, but the others are still free and dangerous. Right off. Let's have that Tommy gun, Miss Lane. Yes, yes. We'll give them a reception. Miss Lane, you'd better go in the next room there. There'll be bullets flying in here. All right. Yes. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. We can't find him. Hey, Jake, throw up your hands. What is it? Uh, hands up, I say. Not me, you... Hey, that is got a pistol. Hey. Yes, that's for Major Whiteside. Now, come on, fellows. Let's get the others. All right, right, right. Come on, Mr. Whiteside. Shadow, are you still here? Yes, Tenga, I'm here. Then you see Master Ned kill bad man? Yes, Ned had no alternative. They tried to fight. Look through the window, Tenga. Another bad man die. Others fly towards jungle. They go also to their death. Listen. Native drums. Ah, Tenga. I understand. Yes, master. Boys in jungle know these white men bad. They glad to kill them. Their leader, Jordan, there will live only a little longer. Then he will die at the hands of the authorities. He planned well, but he forgot one thing. Yes, Shadow. He forgot Shadow and Tinga speak together no matter where he is. No matter where I am. Yes, Tenga. And he forgot crime always brings its own penalty. No matter whether justice is brought about by means of mental telepathy, recognized detective forces, or the shadow. I've been listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow magazine. (laughs) The weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The Shadow knows. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.